welcome to Berlin, where Ram from Sweden is playing tonight. Uh, first of all, a uh, couple of weeks of Europe losing its democracy to heavy metal. Tyranny behind us now. How has the tour gone so far? It's been great. It's been really good. Uh, really good uh, tour package with Vulture and um, and uh, Indian Nightmare. So we had a good time and um, some good shows. Um, yeah, everything's been what's it's, yeah, it was what's been expected has has uh, has come alive. Absolutely. Okay, and for the uninitiated, what kind of experience is Ram concert? Well, it is a high energy, uh, a lot of aggression, um, uh, very aggressive, uh, intense. Uh, I would say uh, we 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 don't leave anything left on the stage. We'll just collapse in the dressing room. Uh, we give everything we have every night. So um, uh, I think we we live for heavy metal in in the real sense of the world and we show that on stage so i think it it's probably kind of a special experience to witness in these small clubs where the, the st where it really comes into into play that that kind of thing uh yeah yeah tonight playing in cassiopeia as you mentioned it's a, a smaller club so uh, what are your expectations for tonight well same as every night we just go up and do our thing and but we played berlin before it's always been good i think it's our fourth time in berlin so uh, always real metalheads here in berlin so uh, that's our crowd and that's the people we want to play for so uh, looking forward to a lot of patched vests and chains and spikes and all that stuff and uh, having a good time okay and uh, throne within tour naturally follows the album so, uh, what are your own thoughts on the album now that you get to play the songs live? Yeah, I think it's, the songs are really working out live, absolutely. Um, I think that album is kind of direct, uh, just straight up heavy metal album, but with, with, with some, some uh, special Ram nuances, of course. And, uh, Hello, guys. <laughs> uh, with some with the special ram sound and nuances of course so um, um, uh, but the, the, the material is really really working out live absolutely okay the album got of course uh, great reviews but um, what are your own thoughts on the album and how was the recording I'm very happy with the album um, I think the, the, res the reviews are well deserved uh because we we really realized we had done something special when when it was mixed and mastered and everything so um uh, and uh we we sold a lot of records here in in germany first week so uh, entered number 33 at um the the official album charts so that's really good um and um just Hope to keep on growing. Hope to spreading the heavy metal tourney wherever we can to as many people as possible. Yeah, and uh, you are actually also uh, this year uh, celebrating your 20 years anniversary. Yeah, as it all started in '99. Yeah. So uh, easy question: How have these 20 years been, and uh, how can you survive heavy metal life for 20 years? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wonder that myself. Uh, it's been tough, of course. I mean, the music industry is no uh, is no dance on roses, as we would say in Sweden. Um, and it's just our pure love for for the for the genre that kept us here all these years. Uh, just uh, that we want to bring heavy metal as it is supposed to be uh, from the heart. And that's just kept us going and that we've we all we, we always felt that there's something left to accomplish some some something some music left to be written and uh something left to be said so that's why we kept on going for 20 years absolutely okay what have been the biggest changes over the years what's the biggest change from 99 to today well um hard to say actually 
and we're kind of introverted and we can we tend to look at ourselves more than than anything else uh, we never really uh, you know put that much energy into checking what the scene is up to or anything like that we we, we just feel that it's better to have your eyes on 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 your own on your own thing so to speak uh, you're your own best critic a worst critic for that reason as well so i mean it's just been hard work from day one and we just dug in and we just worked and worked and worked and now suddenly 20 years have gone that's mainly how it feels uh, so what's changed in the beginning it was really tough because there really was people had forgotten what 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 real heavy metal sounded like nobody was listening to iron maiden or or Judas Priest or anything back in the in the late 90s so we'd have to play with bands that that were available and it was all, always a lot of melodic death metal bands and stuff like that and then people really didn't know what, what was happening when a real metal band came up on stage with leathers and, and studs and stuff and it was just kids who had never seen anything like it before then it was tough but Right after we started, the, the whole scene started to grow here in Germany, and uh, and uh, people were returning to to the traditional sound. And um, from there on, it, it's it's been much easier because people know what we're doing; they're not just surprised, you know. Okay, and uh, how does the future look like then? The next twenty years? Oh. 2020 yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah 20 years we'll see if we'll we'll go on for 20 years i i doubt it I, i don't think that our bodies can endure this kind of punishment for for 20 more years um uh but i mean we we still have when when, when we write music when we do stuff we still return to the same place of inspiration as we did when we started the band and um uh, there's still so much to be found there i mean you don't have to mix up your style with with uh, other music styles or strange stuff to stay fresh i mean you can just return to we can just return to um to our roots and there's still so much so much wonderful stuff there to be found and and uh and uh, be to be used in our music and in our as inspiration for themes or lyrics or whatever so So we we can easily do another six albums from that spot. So uh, in, inspirationally wise, I don't feel worried at all. We're just gonna keep on doing the same thing for for uh, for some time. I'm certain, twenty years probably not, but for some time, of course. Okay. Are there some concrete plans for next year? Well, next year we we did three albums in in uh, in six years. We've been working really hard, and uh, so we after this tour. We have some some plans that are not um, um, confirmed yet. We'll see about them. But after that, we're going to take a break. So uh, 2020 might be kind of a quiet year from us. Uh, could be. We'll see. But uh, see how restless we are. <laughs> but uh, I think we we uh, we need a break, and we don't want to over flood the market with 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 stuff either it's better to to take a breather and uh, have a look around see what we're going to do next okay you mentioned that when you started out it was uh, hard for heavy metal bands but how do you see the scene at the moment in Sweden and Nordics well it's uh, probably better than ever um, really good quality metal coming out of the um out of Scandinavia as always I would say that's always been the been the fact um, with Norway Norway might be the exception but, um, but mainly just very good bands from Scandinavia um, and I think it's still it's always on point you know people know they know what they're doing but very much so in Scandinavian countries it doesn't matter what they're doing if they're engineers and making engines or whatever it is Scandinavian people know what they're doing or they won't do it it's just like if you don't know what you're doing then you're not going to do it if you know what you're doing you don't you know it very well and you do it very well so 
I think that's part part of the Scandinavian mindset, and and it it shows even in in heavy metal music. So um, there's a lot of good bands out there right now from Sweden, and uh, I mean Finland has a really strong, nice underground scene that I uh, I enjoy very much. Uh, nice festivals and uh, always cool to come to to Finland and play. Um, and the, the metal is strong there, really strong, the, the real metal. So so it's, it's good times for for heavy metal absolutely yeah you uh, mentioned already a couple of times the real heavy metal and ram was in a sense um, founded upon the idea so what is the essence of true heavy metal it's the it's the the electric liberation of of the individual um to me that's always been what heavy metal is is about that uh, this person going against the grain following his own heart even you you could say uh, you could use Crowley you know do what thou wilt all all that stuff has always been very very prominent in in uh, in uh, heavy metal as well that it's about this um, the lone person doing exactly living his life according to his own will in opposition to uh, authority and uh, the collective and even God he, he he follows his own his own path and heavy metal music is the soundtrack to that the the the, uh, the electrifying of that feeling so uh, to me that's that that's the basis of it uh, that you have to involve in, in your heavy metal music or it's not going to be heavy metal and that's what makes heavy metal very special is that it's all these individuals coming together to celebrate their individual individuality rather than the collectivism so um it's 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 everyone for themselves but together and uh you can't find that in in many other places in in society or or in the world and and it's and it's a beautiful thing very very much so yeah okay thank you very much and uh, break a leg tonight oh yeah okay, cheers <laughs> Mm, yeah. Vito fuck ass. <laughs> <laughs>